I know I promise you a arena hire vlog next. It's not arena hire. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you are well. Ah, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, I did promise that the next vlog would be arena hire. I've got my new trailer. It's taking Molly out, doing all the good stuff that we do. However, the venue that I wanted to go to, which is a um, local venue to me, it's Sweetly Equestrian. It's literally four miles up the road. So I thought that'd be a great start in the trailer. Not far for her to go. I know it well. I know where everything is. I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a funny one if I, I like to know the parking, I like to know toilets, that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm a planner. So I know Speedly really well. Um, went to book for Arena Hire, me just thinking, hmm, it'll be Arena Hire as usual. Guess what? There's no Arena Hire this weekend because they have competitions on today and tomorrow. So I scooted around everywhere trying to find a one local, another one local that we could go to. We don't, we're not blessed in this area. I live in South Yorkshire. We're not really blessed in this area for um, locations other than everything. Like I always joke with Jess and Ali, like everything's an hour. How, how far away is this from Michelle? An hour. Like everything is an hour from me. And I wanted somewhere a bit nearer. So I kind of resigned myself to the fact that we wouldn't be going arena higher. Then in a moment of absolute madness, I thought, well, why don't I just chuck her in for one of the competitions that's on? So today it is combined training, but they have a section of stressless dressage as well. And tomorrow is clear round show jumping, but it's BS as well tomorrow. So I thought first time out, BS environment is probably not the best or oh, I have a fear of warm ups, so I have to get over it. I know. So that's not the, probably the best environment for me. Stressless dressage. I've been with Reg. I know what it's like. I don't have to plat. I don't have to kind of look smart. We can just rock up, see how it is. And so I thought, shall I, shall I kind of do that? So I went to inspiration to my Insta buddies and, and kind of like, is this a good idea or am I being absolutely mental? And I got some great advice that said, just go for it. Just enjoy it for one. No expectations for two. Three, take everything in stages. So if you get on the trailer, you get up there and you just walk around, win. If you then get into the warm up, another win. If you manage to ride a test, another win. But at any point, you're literally four miles up the road. You could just have a walk around and get used to a competition environment. So I sucked it up, book up, and I booked in for the intro B test. I also put on there if I could have early times because with the warm up thing and I've never taken her out to a competition environment, I thought it'd be quieter. So beautiful Speedley, have come back. I'm in on the intro B, um, but I am at nine o'clock. I'm the first one on. So I'm going at nine o'clock. So I just thought I'd get myself ready, take you guys along with me and Molly when we try our first competition. It's an unaffiliated stressless dressage. Let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. So I'm getting ready because, um, you know, it's stressless dressage. I don't have to plait or kind of wear show gear, but I'm not an animal. Like, I've done my hair. This is an equestrian ache, right? Tie your hair back, people. Long hair everywhere on your hats. It's just does my head in. Tight back. So tie my hair back. I've got my lucky uh, Holland and Cooper. It's the one decent base layer I've got. On, and I'm going to now open a box in my bedroom that is a bit of mush actually. I haven't opened in over a year. So this resides. It's a very old kid's toy box, I think. I have three children, but they've all grown up and, and left us. Um, and in here is all my competition kit. Wow. I 
packed away when I lost the boys. Eventing. The only um, sport where you have to put your medical information on your arm. We won't need that today. I'm looking for... Here's my, my, my... I'm looking for a bridal number, which should be in there. And, um, oh, my travel rug and my fluff. Right. Oh, let's get all this chisel out. Found the absolute mems. There's our Reggie boys. What we used to call, I used to call his posh head collar. Ah, oh, miss you, dude. Box that just keeps giving. Um, anybody else? Ridiculously sentimental. Um, you can stay back in there. Right, I cannot find the bridal number. I'm sure I'll be fine. So we got travel kit. I need to just make myself look a bit smarter. Rockle gloves, people. They're great, but for the money. Oh, they're not that old. Um, odds. Let's get this loaded up and then let's go and meet the gal. Oh my goodness. Would it be one of my vlogs without McDonald's? shouting my name you can't even see it it's not even focusing because it's so early in the morning but yes mcdonald's i do want a proper chocolate off you're on a wonk because that's how it rolls because i'm still in drive through don't worry but good secured good morning do you want to do some dressage hey pretty girl Hi, sweetie. Good morning. Someone does not want dressage. She's like, this is far too early, Mom. I'm old. Leave me to have a lay-in, please. So the chairs. I'll leave your light off. I am arrived at yard still. Hugging. I got a large. Why not? Treat myself. Uh, just soaking feed. I've got a new product to try and keep weight on Molly. Um, it's a product called Cool Stands Copra, I think. Which is basically like a coconut meal. A lot of people on Insta have said that it's really good if you can get your horses to eat it because it's not very palatable or they get used to it. Um, I've been slowly introducing it to her, to Molzy. She's been all right, actually. But she's she's not a very fussy mare. P was fussy. Um, Molly's not been fussy. So the whole point of coming here early was so that it's nice and relaxed no stress i don't want any stress on loading like we've done trailer training so she has been in the trailer and about but i just want it to be a nice experience for everybody really so that's the plan so i'm gonna feed her let her have a walk around while i muck out and then get my tack ready because my martingale needs to come off give her a bit of a brush put boots and stuff on that she needs on yeah Hopefully. I think we'll probably leave about quarter past eight. It's maybe not. Maybe, yeah, maybe quarter past eight. It's only five minutes up the road. Six minutes. Um, get there. Chilled. Beans. Right. Let's get on with it then. Stop yakking. Oh, while feed was soaking, I will uh, get the bridle ready. Did I clean it? No. Should I have done? I'm always... Like I said before, I'm not an animal, but stressless dressage. Don't always put maximum amount of effort in. Martingale has to come off because obviously, peeps, that's not dressage legal. Even in a little unaffiliated, they still stick to the rules. However, what I do need to include, if I can find it, there it is. Yeah. Next strap. Anybody that rides <laughs> the falls in. Anybody that rides spicy horses, youngsters, it's a godsend. So I need an extra strap. That is literally just a spare rein um, that I tied into. So I've got that saddle, bridle. Oh, let's have a look at the state of my boots. I'll give him a once-over. Boots are... Yeah, 
significantly cleaner. Right, hat, because I've got a bit of a coloured silk going off. And it's probably fine, but I'm going to go for a more subdued colour. Oh, there's a pom-pom. I'm not really a pom-pom gal, so we'll see if the pom-pom lasts. Or if I take it off. <sighs> it's exciting, isn't it? It's a bit of a big pom-pom. I love this silk, actually. It's a really boring navy one. But it's been... Well, like best days. It's been with me a while. Yay! I don't like fixed peaks. I should do. For stuff like this, but... Even when I was young and we used to have the, anybody old enough uh, watching this channel, you used to have the chin straps. And it's like a tiny little hook that kept it fastened and nine times out of 10, it, you know, it has been known to come unfastened. Got my gloves in there. That is me. That's me done, I think. It's pretty uh, straightforward. Feet time. Chores are done. Everything is prepped for when we get back so that they can go back out in the field. Because the last week, due to the rain that we've had in the UK, the fields have been mental. So I've had to keep them in for a few days to dry their feet out after the farrier had been because he said they were getting a bit soggy. But the girl, oops. But the girl is all ready. She is clean. We have rug on. One moment. So she has a nice travel rug on and she's got turnout boots on. I've just realised I'm covered in crap. Oh well. Uh, I don't particularly, personal preference, I have some of the very thick travel boots. I don't necessarily like them. If they're not used to travelling in them, it can create more problems than protecting the legs. She's used to turnout boots, so I'm going to put them on her just to protect her little leggies, but not give her that. Yeah, they they just don't like some like it on their back legs, and there has been some accidents I think where people have got caught on the big travel boots. Anywho, it's just my preference. Right, a bit early, but in the next hour I will load up, get myself ready, and we'll get on the road. The bestie Tan is coming with me because I don't want to go on my own for the first time, and it's always great to have a spare pair of hands. We are loaded. Really impressed. Molly walked straight on no issues whatsoever we're literally going probably like five minutes up the road i've got my bestie who is just my little comfort blanket and anything like this because she keeps me sane um see you at speedley <laughs> we have arrived at speedley i keep deep breathing in the car thank you telling to me remind me to breathe if anybody on the vlog saw my when i used to fetch reg here you've seen this place before it is one of our favorite venues Moles is in there. She travelled all right, actually. It wasn't too bad. And getting an early time means that there's not much distractions at the minute. The sun is shining. We're on high alert. She's still a Excited, aren't you? at this point to take her for a little bit of a walk around just so she could see the environment and just kind of get used to it. It was also very exciting for a little baby.
got tacked up and decided to take her into the warm-up just to see if she would calm down a little bit. She was very high energy. It took us a long time to just simply get her to calm down so we could put her bridle on and get her saddle on. So off I went just to see. She was very fresh. Like, I'm going to leave this very raw as a first time she's ever been in a warm-up in her life. And she all found it just very exciting. <laughs> You're all right, Moles. Oh, it's so exciting. So exciting. It's all right, we can edit all this out. And just doing outtakes real. Yeah, I think good idea. Keep yeah, her moving. Keep her moving. Yeah, keep her moving. I think the more good girl malls. You're gonna be knackered. Well, I'm knackered now. <laughs> That's it, steady. do a bit of a voiceover for you now so this is the test i'm kind of reacting to it as i'm watching Don't it, it which i thought would be really interesting because it felt horrendous let's be honest but as soon as she kind of came in to this arena i really felt like she tried it might not look it guys but she really did try to keep all that excitement and that exuberance under wraps she'd got horses walking in and out she couldn't understand why horses were leaving and she's a thoroughbred and somebody once said to me, typical thoroughbred, they always like a friend. So that was an incredibly wobbly centre line and she's got a very tense trot going off. In my head, I'm just trying to keep her moving forward. I'm not concerned about contact. I'm trying to just keep the first stage of the training, just the rhythm, just to keep her in a constant rhythm because she's incredibly tense at this moment in time. However, she never really spooked at the boards, which I thought was fabulous. This was my best bit, I think, coming across this diagonal. I really enjoyed riding this. I thought she felt like she was going forward. She's fussy with her head. This is why I ride her in a martingale. But we can't have a martingale on for this test, so we are working with what we've got. Again, just trying to keep her forward. She's trying, bless her. She's just trying to keep it under wraps. We're now going into a walk. And this is supposed to be, peeps, a free walk on a long rain. It's not. We know it's not. But it's a starting point. She's walking, which in my book for this test was an absolute win. She's just happy. You know, she's just excited about the environment she's in. There's a little bit of anxiety there. And we've got to understand that this is her first ever time in a competition environment. Her first ever time doing dressage and in the dressage boards and you know I can't really knock her she's looking I mean she looks well this is not meant to be in the test spoiler uh, it doesn't actually say book between something and e and canter is also not in the test but she's just adding her own moves right now again I've managed to fetch her back down again get her into that trot and just She's concerned about the grey that's walking past, as you can see. Get her down this diagonal. Oh no, it's not a diagonal, peeps. I should really know my test. It is a supposed to be, that was supposed to be a 20 metre circle. At this point in our dressage career, we're just happy it's a circle. It definitely wasn't 20 metres. Now we're going to go down the diagonal 
and um, there's a lot of steam coming off this mare because she's using a lot of her energy up in being very, very fresh, but very pleased with her. It makes me very proud. I didn't think I'd be back out competing this soon. You know, it's just been a year. It's nearly a year to the date since I lost the boys. And to be back out at this at this environment, you know, it's an absolute win. I was very, very emotional that we actually managed to stay in the whiteboards. We didn't get eliminated. And here is the hole. Oh, there we go. We finished our test. She's very happy with herself. I never thought I'd be back out competing. Yep. So soon. It's been like a year. But I really wanted to quit. Yeah. When I couldn't get a bridle on. That's why I'm proud of you because you didn't. I'm proud of you because you made me go, come on, take a step back. Because I get too hip up, don't I? It's easy to do though. You're my, uh, we always say, <laughs> I, I'm just pretty much. Uh, you can't even, uh, um, you can't even, level headed. <laughs> <laughs> You have moles. Oh. You both have. I'm proud of you both. She's just a baby. With, yeah, come with zero expectations. Somebody said to me, come with zero expectations. And I always come with expectations. That's the problem. And I can't change it. I don't know why. I'm just that type of person. <laughs> but I think if you came with zero expectations, the fact that I nearly loaded a back up when we couldn't get a bridle on, I was like, no, not today. But we pushed on. We calmed her down. Calmed you down. Calmed me down. <laughs> and she did a dressage test in a fashion. It was probably the worst dressage test I've ever... I don't know, actually. I've ridden some shockers. <laughs> so, it's up there. Um, but when she was... Like, she did one trot... It'll be on the video. She did one trot down the diagonal, and it felt beautiful. It looked beautiful. The rest of it was just an absolute shower of... It wasn't. Poopy. It was literally trying to free walk in a long rain. I think that's the worst free walk I've ever done. <laughs> and then let go. That's because you've been spoiled with red. He had a, a lovely free walk. Oh, like he used to be rubbish at everything, but he had a good solid eight free walk. <laughs> and she probably will. We just need to. She's got more. If you compare it to original, you shouldn't compare it. But she's got more edge, and she? Yep. Like Reg never had an edge. She's spicy. She was the great first ex race horse. And somebody once said to me, he lulled me into a false sense of security. Absolutely. With, with breads, mm -hmm. Because. He's the minority, not the majority. <laughs> this is the majority. We're very proud. We're just waiting for a sheet now. Because I want to know. I'm bush You're going to do a score guess. I'm going 47%. <laughs> Come on, you can be brutal. I'm saying a good 57. Yeah, oh! No, 47. But yes, Pepe needs to do more of it, Dan, don't we? Yep. Third. <laughs> well done, Moles. Well done, Moles. See you, see you lap. Her first rosette. Yay. First of many. That's what we said, me. First of many. Right, go on, me wolf. We are back home safe and sound. She loaded and travelled really well. I'm super proud of her. After all the exuberance that you will have seen, like, the first one is in the bag and we came third which I don't want to bullshit you all. <laughs> there was three in the class uh, with 60%, which I think is amazing. And the comments on the sheet absolutely just melted my heart because she was difficult to ride, but I'm so, so very proud of her. So this is going to go up on our rosette board and hopefully it'll be the first of many. So if you liked that vlog, please give me a like, comment and subscribe because this is first of many and we'll see you next Wednesday there's a new day that will come again tomorrow there's a new day to wash away the pain 
there's a 